Hi everyone, sorry for the late start. Um, I couldn't get into the meeting before. Um, my name is Sean McGiven. I'm the discussion backend lead at GitLab. Um, just share my screen with the update of what uh, my team and I have been doing for the last um, five weeks and what we'll be doing in the next five weeks. Um, so in 10.0, we shipped some stuff, which is awesome. 10.0 uh, being released on the 22nd of September, so um, a week and a bit ago. Um, we shipped group issue boards, which slipped from the previous release, um, which is awesome. Like, um, I think everybody at GitLab who uh, does any kind of planning or like you know managing issues across a release really needed this, and it's awesome. So thanks to Felipe and Simon for that. Um, we also have Jira development panel integration for commits. Um, so Oswaldo was working on that. Um, we hope to add other types of things that we can integrate into the Jira development panel in future. Um, but that's an awesome start. And uh, Mikhail uh, had worked on this as part of uh, before he joined GitLab. And uh, he finished it up in 10.0. That's a first time contributor badge. So when you submit your first merge request to a project, um, you get a little badge that um, lets people on the project know that this is your first merge request and um, you know to be even nicer than you would be otherwise. Uh, we also had some awesome community contributions on that subject. So um, one was to filter issues or MRs by your emoji reaction. So if you've added a star emoji to a bunch of issues, for instance, that you want to bookmark or favorite, um, you can filter by those easily now. Um, we added a setting to um, when you push to a merge request. Um, at the moment, we follow the diff through for each comment on the diff and try and match it to a line in the new diff. If um, it's outdated, we show it as outdated, but we don't automatically resolve the discussion. We make you do that manually because it's possible it just moved, but it still needs to be addressed. Um, this setting lets you go to the other behavior of just resolving it if it no longer matches the new diff. Um, we added a move quick action. Um, so quick actions are uh, you type slash and then move in the comment box and you can move an issue, um, which is super cool. Um, and we got some time tracking information in the CSV export for issues, which is um, cool for people who like CSV exports. Um, in terms of the team in general, um, most of them were at conferences this last weekend. So Yaka and Douglas, uh, among other people from GitLab, were at Yuruku uh, in Hungary. And Felipe and Oswaldo, uh, among others from GitLab, were at the Conf in Brazil. Um, so I've spoken to uh, Yaka since then, and it sounds like she had a great time. And I'm sure Felipe, Oswaldo, and Douglas, and everyone else who was there did as well. Um, we've got a couple of concerns. Uh, lock issue, I said here missed 10.0 and will be in 10.1. I'm still waiting to hear about that. I'm not quite sure what the the holdup with that is, um, but um, it should be in 10.1. The freeze is on the 7th, so we definitely have enough time to finish that. Um, Valerie and Dimitri have been sort of working on the Rails 5 upgrade. Um, maybe not necessarily as a main project for either of them, but definitely as a, a thing they've been working on. Um, but it's just not enough people. Um, and the longer we leave it, the more we have to do because the rest of the team is busy adding new stuff that they then have to you know, account for in the Rails 5 upgrade. Um, so it's, it's kind of a, a vicious cycle there. Um, we'll try and get more people dedicated to that in 10.3 so we don't leave it hanging over our heads for too long because um, the longer we leave the existing MR, the more likely it is that... Um, it's going to be really, really painful to pick up again. Like if we left it for a, you know, three, four months um, from now until we tried to get a team on it to finish it, it would um, it would take a lot of time just to get up and running again. Um, so those are the two main concerns I've got at the moment. Next, I've got two things that are pretty cool that are coming. Uh, so the first of all is comment on images, um, which I mean, both of these I hope will make 10.1, but I'm not 100% certain yet. So this is just, you're in a uh, diff view and um, you can comment on text and you can add discussions to the top level, but you can't um, comment on images or other files. So um, 
this is adding the ability to comment on a particular uh, coordinates uh, position by coordinates in the image um, and have a discussion thread on each of those coordinates that are selected. Um, so that's looking super cool. Um, like I said, don't know if it will make it definitely in 10.1, but I certainly hope it will. Um, and then another thing is uh, saved board configuration. Um, so this is uh, really useful as well. At the moment, you can only save a milestone on a board and then any other filters are added once you view the board. Um, what this will let you do is save configuration to the board itself. So um, you can say that this board is for the CICD team and anybody who loads it automatically has the CICD label applied to their filters um, along with whatever milestone you pick as well. So those are two uh, super useful things. I didn't include a last slide for uh, questions. Um, so I'm just going to go to the chat now and see what's up there. Uh, yep, these are both cool features. Um, save board configuration, like you have said, especially is, is huge because um, it's like group boards. It's one of those things that <laughs> helps us make boards better as well because we can actually use boards more. And the more we use them the, um, because of dog fooding, the, the better we can make them. Um, John asks if saved board configuration is a C or E feature. I think it is EES, but I am not 100% certain and Victor should answer that for certain, uh, for real in the chat probably, or um, on Slack, because I don't want to give the wrong answer. Um, I'll give everybody 30 seconds for any more questions. Thirty seconds is quite an uncomfortably long amount of time to spend just staring, waiting for questions. Um, but I'm done now. Um, so thanks, everybody. You've got uh, 22 minutes back before the team call.